there are many unique species that make the Mojave Desert their home. They've adapted to extremes of heat and cold, elevation and space, and times when food and water are either plentiful or scarce. Although some of their behaviors may seem strange to us, it's all perfectly natural to them. They live in the desert every day, so it's worth preserving by each one of us. But what's really weird is one of the desert's most destructive intruders, the human doofus. To you, the doof might look like any other man or woman, boy or girl, except that the doofus amuses itself by messing up the desert for the wild things that live there and the people who visit. It's a true doofus move to ruin the experience of everybody who's hiking, camping, or enjoying the beauty of the desert. They'll do it in numerous doofy ways. But some of the doof's foolishness can be overruled by the good sense of its way cooler cousin, the Desert Dude, who's a friend and protector of the Mojave and its wildlife. Desert dudes can be any age, but the doofus is always too busy goofing off to ever grow up. Even before you see him, you'll know the doofs are around by the noises they make. Louder and longer than normal humans, sometimes lasting for hours on end, even late into the night. Disturbing picnic sites and campgrounds. What is it? Who is that? And frightening the animals in their own desert homes. Dudes always use maps and signs to guide them along designated roads and trails whenever they want to ride or hike. But it takes just a few dudes racing every which way all over the desert to destroy its plant life, threaten its animals, and get themselves lost or in trouble. Doofs don't think twice about ripping up a fistful of desert wildflowers, picking up a threatened desert tortoise, or playing with fire whenever they feel like it. You can easily track a pack of doofuses by all the trash they trail behind them. Huh. But true dudes always leave the desert better than they found it, packing out their own food and litter, and often they'll pick up after the doofs too. If their garbage isn't completely gross or extremely dangerous! Before you head out on even the shortest exploring trip, always tell a parent or responsible adult where you're going, what designated route you'll be taking, how long before you'll come back, and always do it with a dude or two for company and safety. And all good dudes remember, it's their duty to plan around and know the rules of the area. Be aware of weather conditions and learn about what wildlife to watch out for. Dudes dress and prepare for a variety of conditions and activities by wearing sturdy shoes for hiking and climbing and dressing in layers of clothes. And if they're riding off highway vehicles, they always wear helmets and other protective gear. Desert dudes are always prepared with backpacks full of water, food, first aid items, a flashlight, sunscreen, an extra sweater or jacket for warmth and protection against the weather, a whistle or some kind of signaling device, along with a cell phone in case they ever do need to call for help. It takes many special dudes to set an example of how to make the desert as doofus-proof as possible by participating in projects to protect the Mojave Desert's wildness and its beauty. So what kind of desert visitor do you want to be? Ultra cool outdoor dude or totally destructive doofus? Now that you know the difference, you can choose.